beautiful friends, a girl, Ilan Blue, and welcome back to the channel. If you're here for the first time, please subscribe, like this video, and share, and also click on the notification button so that you don't miss out on any new content as it comes out. So get comfortable, get your drink, and sit back because we're getting started. So today I've got a few interesting stories that will have you gagging, and um, here they go. We're going to talk about Pete Davidson biting Peter, Kevin Costner, Miley Cyrus paying out of pocket, Kanye West crashing a wedding in Italy, Young Blue getting dragged for being weird, Drake taking a photo in front of all the brass he's gotten from fans, a blue face crying again, with Kylie and Timothy Chalamet, Nicki Minaj dropping uh, music, P. Diddy uh, giving his artist publishing rights, Mark Curry commenting on this, and finally uh, we're going to talk about like some brand new music. All right, uh, first, let's talk about Pete Davidson. Well, as many rich people and celebrities would do, Pete Davidson got himself a nice, expensive little dog. And Peter was not happy about that because they thought that, well, it would have been better if he had actually adopted instead. So Peter, being very uh, petty, decided to make a Halloween costume in Pete Davidson's likeness and saying that douche bros uh, can wear those. So um, Pete, Pete Davidson's attorneys actually frowned upon this and they said it's disgusting that they capitalize on someone's mental health and not mention illegal to use his likeness. I totally agree with this. They cannot be making money. They are actually charging $99 for this um, Halloween costume, which is crazy. So they are actually going to be making a lot of money off Pete Davidson's back. And that I think is quite unfair. So I'm hoping that he is going to send them a cease and desist and be on his way. All right, next story. We're talking about Kevin Costner, who has filed a motion to compel his ex-wife, Christine, to file discovery. She has failed to do so in three months. Well, you know what? If you are aware of legal proceedings, there are actually some strict rules on things that parties are supposed to do. And there are dates and days that are set on, you know, as periods by which documents are due. So she has obviously uh, slacked and she is three months uh, late. And uh, Kevin Costner has filed this motion to compel her. And she's also supposed to pay $14,000 for attorney fees. This is crazy. But as you know, a lot of divorce uh, cases actually get a little bit ugly and people start getting petty because, you know, I think it's, you know, an emotional situation. So um, I hope that they uh, find a resolution and that Christine does what she's supposed to do at the right prescribed times and uh, we don't hear any more of this drama. So Miley Cyrus says that uh, during her 2014 tour, she paid out of pocket for like most of the stuff that you know would be presented in the tour apparently uh, organizers don't actually like pay for or provide everything that an artist would want so they sometimes have to pay out of pocket and um in this case um, my desires says the tour grossed 63 million dollars and she made absolutely no profit because she had actually paid out of pocket to finance the whole uh tour i mean this is it's admirable because I mean like some artists show that they care about their um, fans so much and they want to give them an amazing show and they're willing to forgo uh, millions of dollars as a result so uh, well done to Miley uh, we're hoping that you're going to do like um, put out good music and do more amazing tours that time um, the period when she had that tour I think that was when she was working with Mike Michael made it and uh, she was she had like some serious bangers at that time you know she um, was uh, close to urban culture uh, which she obviously has set her back towards but I'm hoping that you know she will uh, grow from strength to strength and uh, you know, provide amazing music for her fans. Kanye West! Oh, he is a gift that keeps on giving. Kanye West is always on the blog zone when he's not putting out any music or making any crazy comments. This man knows how to get the attention of the media. So what did he do this time? Kanye West crashed a wedding in Italy. So this couple were doing their wedding reception and Kanye just showed up and he took some photos with the couple. I would say those guys are really lucky to have a huge celebrity and A-list like Kanye West gracing their wedding. I mean, I would have like gone crazy if like he showed up at my wedding. So um, yeah, congratulations to the couple and Kanye West, keep doing you, man. We love hearing about about you. We love seeing you on the on the uh, media space. You are an interesting person, and we love you. Next story: Young Blue got dragged for being weird by the woman he flew out. So it turns out that Young Blue is not a very faithful man because he is actually married. He saw this lady online when she did a video sticking out her extremely long tongue, and he wanted to get a little bit of that. So he decided to fly her out. But instead of any you know interesting stuff happening between them, he completely ignored her. He didn't even buy her food. Didn't even take her shopping. So poor lady was like, Hey, Young Blue, why am I here for? What am I here for? You know, because she's used to you know guys flying her out and spoiling her. So this time he didn't spoil her and completely ignored her. Oh, don't say his name. But my thing is this, I'm not exposing him because what's there to expose? Once y'all once y'all listen to my story time, y'all gonna be like, oh, you didn't expose him, you just kept it a hundred. This is my story, this is something that happened with me with a weirdo celebrity, and I'm here to let you know I don't give a fuck if you're a celebrity. I actually don't give a fuck who the fuck you are. If you're a weirdo, I'm gonna treat you exactly like what the fuck you are, which is a weirdo. A lot of these celebrities 
are weird. A lot of these celebrities think that because they got money and that they're on TV, that they're somebody. I'm here to let you know. I don't give a fuck who you are, bro. If you're a weirdo, if you're not thorough, if you're not solid, I'm going to let you know what it is. But yeah, story time. Y'all know the nigga Blue? They sing, they say time heals. Don't go dead. Yeah, he slides in my DMs and yeah, he tried to talk to me and yeah, he wasted my fucking time. And like I said, I don't call it exposing him because what the fuck you do? You wasted my time. Story time. I did my DMs. I'm about to show y'all the um the video of my tongue that went viral first. And then after that, we're going to proceed to the rest of the story. So y'all, check out the video that went viral. Okay, cool. That video goes viral. After that, he slides in my DMs. About to show y'all him sliding in my DMs right here. All right, cool. Yeah, he all up in there. Right there. Bam. So he slides in my DMs, we up there talking, yada, 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 this, that, that, that. He told me that he was doing a, a soundtrack for Power in New York and that he wanted me to come with him to New York, you know, just so we could vibe out and, you know, I guess like hang out or whatever. So I'm like, the fuck? Yeah, like, that's a whole celebrity. I'd be an idiot not to go. So I um, was getting myself together. Me and him were still texting me and was still talking. I ended up posting up an old video of you know, Philadelphia International Airport. Y'all, he had me on a fuck. PJ, I'm in a PJ, ain't never been on a PJ before, I'm in them off, Ooh. about to drop that video too, bam. So I'm on a PJ, yo, why the f*** don't say nothing to me? I'm talking, don't acknowledge me, don't give me a hug, don't say, yo, what's up? So I'm in my mind like, okay, maybe he just a little jet lag. Maybe he a little bit, you know, he probably a little tired. It's cool, whatever. I'm just enjoying my little experience. You know what I'm trying to say? On the PJ. So I'm on the PJ. He ain't saying nothing to me. We get off the private jet and then we go into this little black truck. That's when I'm introduced to about five or six niggas. I wouldn't even say introduced because he didn't introduce me. He didn't introduce nobody to me. So I'm just sitting there looking like, um, okay. When I got on the PJ, like I said, he didn't talk to me. He didn't offer a beverage. I'm asking, I asked him, I said, so blue. So what's the reason for you to have brought me out here? Because I saw in his phone that I was under Philly stylist. So in my mind, I ain't even going to hold y'all, y'all. It was a celebrity. I didn't give a fuck I was out there to fuck, to suck him, to fuck the stylist. But all I knew was, yeah, he about to cut that check. He got that bread. It is what it is. So I asked him, because like, you're not talking to me. You're not doing it. Like, what am I here for? So I said, so blue. What am I here for? This motherfucker gonna tell me it gotta be a reason why I have brought you out here. Bitch, what the f do you have me out here for? You think I'm just about to be some groupie that's about to follow you around while you do absolutely nothing? I'm so confused, y'all. I swear for God, I done hung around a Philly nigga for 24 hours and I done got, I done got fed, I done got bought, I done went shopping, I done went out, I done did so much. So I'm asking this man, what am I here for? What do you have me here for? I'm not no groupie. You're, you're, I'm, I'm so sorry, Blue, but the only song I know from you is they say time heals. Don't go, bitch. That's it. That's all. And I only know the other song with you with Nicki Minaj because that's my bitch. Other than that, Blue, what the f*** am I here for? I'm very confused. They called me an Uber. I took my black ass the phone. I went to bed with my f***ing girlfriend. Don't y'all know he going to text my phone uh, the next day talking about some old bullshit. Then I want to say like two weeks later, he texted me again. And I'm like, you know what? I'll try again with this motherfucker. Me and him got into it again. I said, you know what, Blue? You're a fucking weirdo. Like, a, com a complete weirdo. You can't joke with this motherfucker. You can't be with this motherfucker. I think I was like joking with him via text. And then he got, he got in his feelings. I said, yeah, Blue, you're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. Yeah, if your baby mom, your baby mom, I don't understand how. You're, you're a weirdo. I'm letting you know. I don't give a fuck. You're a celebrity. I don't give a fuck who you are. If you're a fucking weirdo, I'm going to treat you exactly. So when his wife saw this video, she actually did I put out a video of her own. And <laughs> yeah, she said she put him out of the house, man. She even said Boozy can come and pick you up, which is crazy. So in response to uh, the lady's uh, video, Young Blue made a video of his own. He said that, well, he did fly her out. But the problem was that mm, the lady had a bit of a stench. He didn't know what it was, but it really smelled bad. So she came out and said, "Wow, well, you're lying. I, how can you say that I stank? I didn't stank, blah, 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 blah. And he says, no, it was not her pee word that was smelling. It was just a clothes which might have smelled like mildew or something like that. And he, you know, he didn't, uh, he didn't entertain her because her hygiene was not up to scratch. 
whew, this is some crazy stuff. This is some embarrassing stuff. I mean, I don't know if I was that young lady, if I would have actually come out to the media and exposed myself like that. Well, I'm just saying, you're with a married man. He ignores you. This is already embarrassing. Why would you want anybody to know about that? I mean, I would like hide that very, very far. In fact, I would even like pretend it never happened. I would hide it in my own memory. I, like it would be like, I, I don't know, like it's been deleted. I wouldn't want to think about that, let alone say it out loud. So eventually, Young Blue has made an apology to his wife. And this is what he said. <clears throat> now, I mean, I like to publicly apologize to my wife. I'll never get on the internet and bash you no matter what you say. I don't hurt. Such a good woman. Solid, rare. Love and appreciate you, baby. I'm out. <laughs> so, I guess we will see if uh, wifey has got a forgiving heart or if his words have melted her uh, heart and uh, she's willing to let him back in the house. <laughs> Maybe she might want to uh, She might wanna uh, tell... Um, What's his name? Little Boosie. No, that he doesn't need to come again anymore. <laughs> oh, not. Oh, not. Or oh, maybe she'll just say, Boosie, come get your boy. <laughs> come get your boy. Uh, but yeah, Young Blue, I hope you have learned your lesson, bro. If you've got a good woman, appreciate her and actually show her by being faithful. You know, it's not that hard. All right, our next story is about the Renaissance tour, y'all. But I'm not going to be talking about Beyonce or her wonderful songs. So it turns out that a fan attended Beyonce's concert and she was having a wild time and she was enjoying herself. She took videos while she was there. And then later that day, she gave birth. Ain't that crazy, y'all? So this lady was literally Jew and she was willing to pay and attend Beyonce's tour. Guys, when you talk about influence, man, I hope one day when I actually like blow up i will have people coming to my to my concerts even though they are both there like pregnant and stuff i mean like that is amazing i mean like it shows loyalty as a fan it shows uh the kind of love beyonce inspires so congratulations to the mom i hope mommy and the baby are well and beyonce maybe you might want to send her some flowers you know what i mean make them feel good and you know what? it's not easy to even walk out of the house when you're like nine months pregnant and about to give birth like your whole body is heavy your feet ache your hips hurt i don't know how she even did this but girl more power to you anyway uh let us move on to the next story which is about drake oh drake champagne tappy okay what does he have to so drake took a photo in front of all the bras that he has gotten from fans and yo like it was like all over the place i didn't even realize that drake gets so many bras when he is performing on tour it is insane guys you can literally open a store and sell those bras and make good money i'm sure they're not even cheapos too jeez drake Women love you. Women just love you. I guess that's why P. Diddy and uh, 50 Cent are crying in a corner. They're wishing that they could also get bras from fans. <laughs> Maybe they could, you know, start making women pleasing music, you know. Drake is a crooner. He makes music for the ladies. So maybe those guys could learn a thing or two. No woman is going to be inspired to throw a bra when she's listening to pow pow music. Like, you know about the time for that. Anyway, let us move on. Um, my next story is about baby blue face crying again. Blue face. Mm. He, when, when Krishan was pregnant, he said he was not interested in the baby. He, at first he said he wasn't even the dad. And then he wanted Krishan to lose the baby. He was very toxic, y'all. And we were just hoping that Krishan would open her eyes, realize that this relationship was not serving her or her baby and leave. And it looks like she finally saw the light. So Krishan went away and had a baby. Did not even invite Blueface because she needed good vibes. I already reported on that. And now she is out. The baby is out of her body. And she is looking at a snapback. So she goes to the gym, works out a little bit, shoots a video, you know, dang herself. I'm going to show y'all my snapback, y'all. Yo. You like my voice? It turned you on. Wait till you see it in the pamper. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's how you bounce back. <laughs> Pick up the phone so they can see. Get, get in the bed, right? Hurry up, hurry up. Think it's still like a belly. Flip the camera around. Flip the camera around. Don't put that on the baby. <laughs> no, that oh, one. So So, um, <laughs> I'm about to start professional boxing ASAP. I'm going to go to the studio tonight. Um, put that on the <laughs> No, that oh, one. So, <laughs> so um, <laughs> I'm about to start professional boxing. ASAP, I'm going to the studio tonight. Um, I'm excited. 
Do I have postpartum depression? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Life is great. Um, the belly, it's still a little pudgy and saggy. By tomorrow, I'm gonna have my six pack. Okay, you talking though. <laughs> Damn, I got 193,000. <laughs> I should have put some bacon for you. Put a little food. Oh, let me smile. <laughs> yeah. So, I will be going coming back to LA soon. Um, I'm, I'm healing pretty fast, so real soon. Oh, damn, the baby. The baby, oh, so whenever the baby can fly. Well, actually, I'm not even doing all that. I can't even tell you what I'm doing. On me, because she was out of desperation, right? So that's why when she got into a position, she kind of tried to discredit everything I did, right? Granted, all right? Because I was confused. I'm like, damn, you used to say so much great things about me now. I'm responsible for everything but your success. I'm responsible for verbal abuse, financial abuse, this, that. But when it comes to your success, I have nothing to do with it. Okay, that's strange. The pregnancy is what really made me realize because I have two kids. I've been into labor rooms. When someone is in labor, it's cool. It's, it's out of the blue. No female is planning to go in labor, right? I have two kids, I know this, you can't tell me otherwise. Krishan planned her labor. She didn't coincidentally go to Baltimore and her water broke and she just went somewhere and had the baby. You know how I know this? Because... Certain hospitals don't let you film because of their own rules and, you know, whatever they got going on. Krishan went to a place prior when she was on Baddies in Baltimore. She found a place prior that she could record this birth at. So, stay with me. It's all attention based. Krishan has done everything up to this far for attention. She's manipulating all of us. And I'm now waking up and realizing it because I have kids, so I know how this situation goes. So now that two and two don't aren't going together, it makes sense. Right? Krishana flew to Baltimore with a hospital that she already knew she could film at. She flew there medically induced. She let us know before the baby was coming that it was coming. Four weeks before the due date, right? So if your due date is September 23rd, why are you letting us know that the baby's coming a week, a week before September? You're letting us know in August. How do you know that? This is your first child, you're inexperienced. Okay, I get it. Another thing. See, she knows that gonna be a big a big deal for example why do you think before Krishan goes live and she cries and says that I'm a terrible guy her makeup's done her jewelry's on her nails are done everything is pre-planned that's the genius part about it her fame her claim to fame is sympathy Who's gonna deny that if it's evidence in your face? And then this man comes out claiming that oh she's not paying attention to the baby oh she, how can she take the baby to the gym the address she is literally at a house with a gym in there she's not in a public gym she even had to come out and prove that she was in a house which is crazy he is like trying to make her look as bad as he possibly can and he's even threatened that to be filing for child custody which is ridiculous why would he even like gain custody of the child when he is not even fully present for his own first child which is crazy to me and he has already expressed that he wasn't even interested in fathering this baby so 
what I'm feeling here is Luthe is being jealous. He is so jealous of Krishan. Firstly, she had like 300,000 people during the live stream of the birth, and now she's got like 150,000 people watching her, getting her, her, her work out on. He is so jealous, and he has to write the algorithm and talk about her because she is what keeps him relevant. It is ridiculous. So, um, this is what I have got to say. Blue face, you need to take a chill pill and relax. Krishan is going to take care of the baby the best way she can. She is a mom. So you slow down. Okay. Um, next story, Kylie and Timothy. You guys, so for a couple of months, people have been, you know, speculating that the two might be dating, but there were no photos or videos of the two, you know, acting like a couple. So it's just like, oh no, people were saying it's a fake relationship. Some were saying it's an industry relationship. They were like, no, Timothy would never get with Kylie. I don't know for what reason, but guess what? Recently, Kylie and Timothy went to the concert. I think it's the Renaissance concert together. They were hiking, they were kissing. You know, they look like a couple. Like so, now it has been confirmed. Kylie and Timothy and, and Timothy Chalamet are a couple. We wish them all the best. Mm, man, I would love to see how their babies are gonna look like. It's gonna be amazing. All right, next, woo, Queen, the Queen, Nicki Minaj. She dropped a sped up version of Last Time I Saw You. I put it out in a review of the song. I thought it was amazing. Um. What I can say is the sped up version is going to be lit on TikTok. It's going to be amazing because it's, yeah, you can definitely do a whole lot more with the sped up version. And apparently she was inspired by a fan to do that, to put out the sped up version. So yeah, we are enjoying your music queen. Thank you for the amazing stuff and for keeping us fed. Keep putting out amazing music. And we're looking forward to the album as well. Woo, can't wait. All right. And then finally, PDD has given his artist, um, they're publishing right back the artist from his label so um i don't i don't know if you guys are aware that a lot of pdd's artists were complaining that you know he didn't pay them their worth he kept all the rights to the music um he was abusive um he didn't pay them any of their royalties and he's been predatory like as, as far as uh, financially like taking away from his um from his artists he really his name has been dragged through the mud so now that he is saying that he's going to give his uh, artist their publishing rights back, I don't know. I think it's a little too late. What do you think? Because um, you know what? If you have if you made music like 20 years ago and your music was popping at that time and all the value was taken out of that music and then now 20 years later you're given the publishing rights to music that's not even like playing anymore. I don't know if that's even worth anything, but I mean like you can definitely tell that uh, Diddy is trying to rehabilitate his um, image. So. Yeah, one of uh, the artists, Mark Curry, commented. I don't want the publishing, I want the money. Come on, y'all think he doing a good thing because he give back some publishing? Come on, man. It's not worth anything. And then he he, he don't have the Ciroc or the Deleon, and then he gonna give a million dollars to Jackson State like he doing some, some humanitarian type thing. He just trying to do whatever he can to keep his name relevant. So he can go for a new deal because he don't really have nothing that's making him no money right now. He's not even a billionaire no more. So let's talk. It's an empty gesture, basically. He's saying that what he wants is money and uh, the publishing rights are worth absolutely nothing. And um, he's just, PTD is just doing this so that he can use it to make other deals. Because apparently he's no longer making any money from his Ciroc and he's no longer making money from uh, the music that he has. And so now he's trying to use this as, a, as an opportunity for him to do a money grab, basically. I kind of believe that. I kind of believe that. What do you guys think about this? All right, guys, this is the end of today's uh, segment. What do you think about Pete Davidson, you know, getting disrespected by Peter like this? Uh, Kevin Costner and his ex-wife. Uh, what about Miley Cyrus? Are you guys fans? What do you think about her paying for her tour? Um, what about uh, Kanye West crashing a wedding? Or Young Blue getting put out of the house by his wife? And uh, the woman that gave birth after the Renaissance concert. Please like, like, like this video. Subscribe. And also please share. I really need you guys to help me to get into the algorithm. For some reason, my videos are not getting enough views and I need as much help as I possibly can from you guys. All right, uh, till next time, have a wonderful day, guys. I love you so much. Bye.